Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Did you know you can now create bulleted and numbered lists in Adobe Photoshop CC 2024. And in this short and sweet tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Bullets and numbering for the type tool was released in version 25.11.0. So when you open Photoshop, go to the about menu and make sure that you are using version 25.11.0 or later. Add some text to your document. So click on the type tool or use the keyboard shortcut T. Choose your font. I'm using a font called Nitty Typewriter. I'm just gonna click and add some text. To create bulleted and numbered lists, you're going to use the properties panel. But if for some reason you don't see the properties panel, Go to the window menu and check properties. Select the text that you want to create a list from. So with my text layer selected, I'm just gonna double click right on the layer which will select that entire line of text. Then go to the properties panel and you will now see a section for bullets and numbering. Cool. So I'll twirl that open and there is just two icons. The first one is to create bulleted lists. The second one is for numbered lists. So first I'll click on the bulleted list and now I have a bullet list. I'll tap T for the type tool and just place my cursor right before that second word. Tap return, click return, click return. You can see the bulleted list in Photoshop works exactly the same as if you were in a Google Doc or a Word document, which is a great thing. You can also use the tab key to indent and create nested or sub lists. So I'll just put my cursor right before the word name. I'll tap the tab key. It indented that list to create a sub list and notice the bullet icon changed. If I tap tab again, it's just gonna go in, bullet changes. If I go to the end, tap return, I can create that sub list. I'll tap to delete to go back. I'll put my cursor before the word name to go in the reverse direction, press shift tab. So I have the shift key pressed, I'll tap the tab key. It's gonna go back one level, shift tab to go back to the original. As soon as we created the bulleted list, you will see in the properties panel below the icon, you see some different icons. So you can change the bullet type. So if I wanna change all of the bullets, I can select everything in the list and I can just change the bullet type. You can also change individual bullets if I just want this one to be different. And you can also change the nested or subtext. So if I tap the tab key, I can decide what I want that list to look like. And to remove a bulleted list, I'm just gonna double click on the text layer to select everything in the list. And I'm just gonna click on the bulleted list icon and that will remove the bullets. Numbered lists work exactly the same way. I'll just double click to select the text. I'll go to the bullets and numbering and click on the numbered list icon. Notice there's nothing below, but as soon as I click on it, now we have these different variations below. So you can cycle through the different variations to see your options. And you can also do those for the sub lists or the nested lists. So if I click, Hit enter return, you're gonna see it's just gonna add numbers. I'll undo that. Tab is gonna work the same way. Tab, tab, shift tab, shift tab. If I tab in and I want to change from an uppercase, maybe I want a lowercase letter, I can do that, or lowercase number, Roman. Again, you can change variations for sub list for the entire list. And if you want to remove the number list, select the list and just click on the numbered icon that's going to remove the numbers and that is how you can finally create bulleted and numbered lists in adobe photoshop cc 2024 my name is mike murphy cheers